Hey guys and girls, Nicola Cutie here, and welcome to the second part of the Rapunzel and Eugene uh, fairy tale build. This is when I came back in after the stream was over a couple days later um, and finished it out just recording so that I, I, I knew at this point who I was making the house for and the color scheme um, that I was going for. So things changed a little bit not a lot really but things change a little bit in the kitchen that I'd already completed and then I finished the outside and do the little boys room not that there is a little boy but the little boys potentially little boys room and I do Rapunzel's and Eugene's master so I felt like Eugene would probably just let Rapunzel loose with her decorative stuff you know, he was he wouldn't be like, no, you can't make the bedroom purple, you know. I feel like he would just let her... I don't think he would really mind. I don't think he would really care what, what it looked like so much. So, I let it... I let her style more specifically guide the interior decor a lot. Very much so. So, it's very... Um, it's very... It's, it's girly. It's not... I don't think it's... Um, uh, overly girly, like, I don't think it's, like, unlovable for a dude, but I don't think my husband would personally like it very much, but, you know, sometimes think compromise must happen. I did a little, a bit of some, um, what, like, picture collages. I felt like she would have a very busy type, kind of, like, she wouldn't have blank walls and stuff so I tried hard to it's really difficult I feel I'm running out of pictures guys I'm running out of options I feel like everything has been so played you know so I kind of let's go I kind of um I tried I tried really hard but there were some times I just felt like um I didn't have anything to put there so some of the things two of the spots I left there for Rapunzel to paint pictures for so I think that it'll be really cool when playing them to have her art pretty much be one of the only things in the house but um, there's there's picture I was like pretend I put up there above the bathroom door actually and it was a picture that I was like oh this could be the king and her mother and father the king and queen so but everything is is um, color schemes from the movie so it's gonna be purple and green and yellow um, and I put lots of little flowers, little yellow flowers around because it's kind of like the flowers are the flower that she is, whatever, <laughs> that embodies Rapunzel. So I did a lot of those, but I didn't feel like it was, I thought it was really cute. I thought it turned out really cute. I think it is adorable. And the outside, the outside I spent a lot of extra time on. And I think... I think it turned out really nice. I think I actually, um, uh, made it look like when you walked out, you were kind of walking out into a fairy tale. So that's what this whole neighborhood of Nuka Crest is going to be like. It's going to be, um, fairy tale. I'm sorry about the mowing. I'm sorry if you can hear that. Multitasking more than one thing on this house going on at the same time um so I did add some shelves kind of hidden in things sometimes so that I could put some lights and some flowers up there to kind of add some height to the rooms I do fix this vine sticking through the wall here you can see I did I did fix that I, got, I ended up with trees in the house and all kinds of stuff in the end I had to go back and just like wiggle them out of the walls <laughs> but this is the little toddler boys room that hopefully they will when they have um, and I put some little toys and things on that shelf I don't feel like now that I'm looking at it I'm not really sure that, that shelf kind of fits the theme but I thought you know he's gonna be the new generation so I added that and I put some little toys on there like the horse could be from Rapunzel's you know and the little there's a carriage could be more you know other fairy tales I was hoping to find a frog or something to put in there kind of reminiscent of Rapunzel's um, little buddy 
But I can't remember what his name was now. Darn. What was his name? Hmm. I don't even know if it was technically a he. It could have been a she. But either way, I was hoping to find one to put in there, but I did not end up doing that. So um, I think that, though, he would definitely be like a little like a little frog collector. The, the, their little boy would be a little frog collector. I had a really tough time with this living area, mostly because I couldn't find a couch that I liked for the, the area. I didn't want one with a really high back. I didn't want one with practically no back. I just I wanted something in the middle that kind of fit and I just couldn't find it. So then I was gonna just do like a, a mess of multicolored chairs. That didn't work for me either. I didn't, uh, it didn't take up enough space, I guess. So, I, but, so then I ended up choosing this couch that I guess I had overlooked previously. So I chose this little love seat and added a little fairy light that might have been a bit much I don't know but I just thought it was cute I felt I wanted so bad outside to put that tree from that movie one that movie stuff pack what was that called why why can't I remember these things when time comes oh that's so frustrating I need to like write these things down um Anyway, there's a tree that goes outside, obviously, that hangs down, hangs like little lanterns from it. I felt like that would be perfect because of the, her, like the little um, Chinese lantern moment in the movie. But I couldn't put it out there. It was just too big. It would, it would just end up in the house so bad. So I thought this, at least, was a kind of reminiscent of the lanterns. But I was able, you know, I would be able to put it in the house. So that's kind of why that's there. Even though I don't know how well it goes. I felt like I wanted, here I figure, I figure out a little bit of a way to make it happen. I wanted the, you know how she has the, above her fireplace in the tower, she's got her little, like, painting of the lanterns that she thought were stars. So I wanted something kind of reminiscent of that over the fireplace. So I kind of just took the butterflies and just kind of tried to show just the parts that were kind of more yellow and have it go behind the um the tv and up out the top so i thought it turned out really cool and if you've seen the movie and if you love it as much as i do and has watched it as many times as i have then you know you'll look at that and you'll be like aha uh -huh, i see what you did there you know that i can i can see how that'll work so i was kind of hoping it would be like our little a little secret i just told everybody but Anybody who hasn't seen this won't know. So, I put the little the little suns over the doors. I really don't know why. I just I was trying to fill up the space, and the, I saw the little sun things, and it kind of reminded me of the movie. So I, I I thought it was cute, so I put it above the door. I tried to do another collage here. Um, kind of doesn't work. It doesn't end up working out very well. I'm not sure what I ended up putting here. You think I would remember? I just did this last night. But I don't remember. I slept since then, so memory is messed up. Um, I think. Oh, I think I. Yeah, I think I just stick with this one and put some little flowers. I was running out of ideas. It's so sad. I just. I was. I actually spent most of the time thinking about the outside. So I was doing the inside, trying to figure out the inside. <gasps> I think at one point I delete the whole stinking house on accident, and so I had to do the undo to bring it back because I was. Click I was just clicking it around trying to put the rugs and stuff and I end up clicking on the room itself and delete pretty much the whole house oh I was it was traumatic thank goodness for undo I wish there was an undo in real life that would be pretty awesome that would be pretty awesome I feel like they would be the kind of people who would bring home collectibles I made um, them as sims and uh, f uh, Flynn I almost want to call him Flynn Eugene has a little bit of a um, kleptomaniac trait, <laughs> so he's a he's gonna swipe some things occasionally. You know, he's he's reforming, but you know, it's a process. It's a process. So I made him a little klepto, so he's gonna bring home some things. And then I felt like Rapunzel's gonna find frogs and pets and bring all that kind of stuff home, and also do some painting. So I felt like they would definitely be collectors so I kind of I filled up a lot of space but there is some things you can get rid of that I feel like 
would be great places to put those items. So there's a shelf hidden in the top of the bookcase because I felt like it should be, I should be able to put stuff on top of it. So I hid it in there and I put a couple things on top of it. Once I put the shelf in there, then I kind of was like, why did I do that? I'm not really sure what I'd even put on top of it. You know, so there's, you'd say, challenge going through all the items just to find what fits on shelves anyway. Because, I mean, you can find all this awesome stuff, but none of it will fit on a shelf. It's just too big. So, I did start on the outside. I'm pretty sure, unfortunately, you will not get to, yeah, you will not get to see all that because of my little incident with my dog. I paused or stopped the recording and forgot to restart. But this is the beautiful finished product. I am really excited to put my Sims in the house and uh, play it. It is not, I have not played in it yet, so there might be some things you might need to tweak a little, but I think it turned out really cute and fits the theme pretty well. I felt like pretty well. And I think that, I think everybody Sims will ha live happy, bright lives in here be very happy in there. There's all kinds of flowers everywhere. So I tried to use purple and yellow flowers. And then I think the little kids room, I love this chest at the end. I felt like that was something that Eugene would have brought home for the kids. So this is the back um, porch area. And then this is the finished front, which you've seen previously. And then I think I have, um, Oh, nope, I guess I didn't put, I put the, oh, that's right. Oh, there it is, the picture of Rapunzel. I tried to get him to pose. Somebody needs to tell me how to make that work. I can't figure it out. I don't know if there's a way to do it. I don't want to, like, do, like, super posy poses or anything, but I just wanted them, I was hoping I could get them to, like, kiss, you know, have him, like, them to, you know, whatever. I don't know how to do all that stuff. I, I think it's a learning process. Things like that will will come to me eventually. Or you can tell me about it in the comments below. That's cool too. So I hope that you like this video. I hope that you like this house and the Sims. If you do, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you can see the next houses that go in the fairy tale neighborhood of Nuku Crest. And I will see you guys next time as we continue to play all the games.